Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with a new updated day in the life of Sarah Marie. <laughs> um, I did this video a while ago when I was still studying for the CPA exam and now that I'm done I figured it would be a good chance to update it and show you guys what a day is like for me. So today is Saturday. Um, I'm going to be leaving pretty soon to go see my sister for the weekend, but I figured I would just kind of show you what I'm going to be doing in the meantime um, with Etsy, with YouTube, with laundry, with a toddler, with all of that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So right now I am editing and uploading a video. You guys will see it at some point soon. Um, I just filmed this video that's getting uploaded and I don't normally do this stuff on the weekends um, but again because I'm gonna be gone I needed to get it done um, Jason and Macy are out they are running errands and um, going to the Dollar Tree and all of that fun stuff so I have a few hours of it just being me so I wanted to get that efficiently done I have a whole list in my simplified planner of things that I want to get done um, and so I want to work on orders I need to stop at the post office I need to restock anything that is out of stock on Etsy um, I'm working on some new script stickers and I want to release those for you guys and possibly do a video regarding that um, I need to start cutting some of the November kits because although we are in pretty good shape in terms of November like all of let's see all of those are November stuff that's cut already um, I just want to get a little bit of a head start because I am gonna be releasing November kits next weekend and so I just want to make sure that we have plenty of stuff ready to go um, and then I need to play I need to pay my um, the person that helps me out for the last couple of days um, at home I need to do laundry, I need to clean the bathrooms, and I need to pack, obviously. So lots of fun stuff going on today, but I figured, again, I would bring you guys along with me. So as this video is uploading, I am going to start the whole process of getting orders ready to go. Um, everything that I have is pretty much like ready and set to go. If it's in the shop, that means that it's already cut with a few exceptions. So I'm basically just gonna go through right now, go through all my orders, make sure that everything that I need in stock is going to be stocked, and then I'll print the packing slips, print the shipping labels, and kind of get that started. So you guys will see that. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention, I know a lot of people have been loving these Etsy videos. I love, love, love doing them, and I've said a 100 times before, I love watching them. So like I was saying, one thing that I would say is if you are an Etsy shop owner and you can do this, if you can get ahead um, and get stuff cut before you put it up in your shop, it has been seriously a game changer for my shop. Not only am I able to get stuff out way sooner, but it's just a lot less stressful for me. And when things go wrong, which you guys know with technology, there's always something going wrong. Either the printer starts smudging or the cutters don't want to connect to um, the Bluetooth or whatever it may be. Those issues are small problems compared to what they could be if you were trying to get orders out and you couldn't do it. So anyway, I highly recommend that if you guys are in the same situation. I know some people watch my Etsy videos just because they're interested in how it works, but if you are going to start your own shop, I definitely recommend trying to do that. It does take a while. It does mean extra work, and it does mean that you are going to have stuff in inventory that maybe people aren't going to buy, but it makes the process a lot smoother, at least in my opinion. So anyway, this video is still uploading. I am going to just take a quick inventory of what I have on hand and then um, we will kind of get started with the rest of this vlog. So a lot of my days, um, if I don't have Macy around, is either 
taken up by like Etsy stuff or YouTube stuff. Usually YouTube is a lot easier though because you film a video, it's editing and uploading, and there's not really much you can do. Whereas with Etsy, I mean, there's always something that can be cut. There's always something that, there's always orders coming in. There's always something that you can do with Etsy. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna start working on Etsy orders right now and I'll try and show you guys as much as I possibly can. It's hard with Etsy because I can't show names, I can't show addresses, so I have to be careful about what I'm doing and what I'm showing, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. These are kind of the oddball things that I'm not sure if what the quantity I have on hand and all of that. I'm probably good because there's not very much here, but that's just something that I want to check so that I can get the 18 orders out that I have without any issues. So we have some of the script stickers and then some of the expense tracking stickers. I don't know if I showed you guys this and my office is a mess. So like just don't even pay attention to that garbage. I recently changed this whole section over here i had a bunch of storage and random stuff and now i have everything that's in my shop right here so all the script stickers are up there um i have october kits up there and then these are all here's all the older kits all combined into a small container and then this is kind of like the um, expense tracking sticker some of the cpa stickers i also have um, August and September in here. So just having everything um, right next to me when I'm packing orders is huge, like seriously huge. Um, I can legit sit on my chair and just kind of like turn off to the side and pick what I need and it's all pretty accessible and easy to find. Um, before I had it over here and again, more trash, just don't pay attention to that. I had it over here and so I was constantly just putting them on my desk and trying to like juggle everything and having it here is just so much easier. So when you have your office, like don't be afraid to change things. That's the one thing that I've realized. I seriously move things around all the time in my office and it just seems like if it's not working for you, then it probably, even if it looks cute, it's probably not worth it. So although this is not the cutest setup, it still works really nicely for me and I know that all my stickers are right next to me when it's time to place orders. So long rant over. I'm gonna go through and just make sure that I have all of these items. So here's all my script stickers. I'm gonna go in and just make sure that I have my savings. I don't keep a huge inventory of some of these. Um, so we need the savings tracker. So we have some of those, that's good. We need extra debt payment. We have some of those. Um, we need medical. We have plenty of those. And we need bills. And again, we have a couple of those. We're in good shape. So everything good is, everything there is good. And then I just need to make sure that I have a yellow expense tracking sticker. So I have plenty of those and purple, which I know I just put some in there. So I'm good on those. So everything here is good to go. So now I can go ahead and um, get all of my stuff ready in terms of shipping labels and packing slips uh, and I can get my mailers out and ready to go as well. I always put, I always use my mailers um, and I put like a little thank you sticker on the back just to have it a little bit more personalized and so I'll get that ready as well. So right now I'm going to go through, get these shipping labels and packing slips ready. Those will print and then as those are printing I'll get the um, mailers already and set to go and then we can start packing 18 orders is not a ton it's not like unreasonable um but depending on how big the orders are it could take more time so i know that i need to leave here um i need to leave here probably like 10 40 or so so it's 9:30 right now so i have a little bit over an hour to get these done i also need to stop at the post office and drop them off and i was thinking about cutting today too so i can get some of the new scripts up for you guys so 
we will see a lot that has to happen in this short amount of time but i think it'll be okay i think we'll be able to do it so let's go ahead and work on these um shipping labels and packing slips and all of that and then we'll get into packing orders address a question that I got and I don't think I ever answered um, the question was about how I'm able to do the packing slips and the shipping labels before I actually pack the orders and know how much they're going to weigh um, this is kind of like a trick that I've realized when it comes to doing Etsy stuff um, usually with I mean unless there's like huge exceptions um, with like really big orders or really tiny orders. I know the basic weight of what a kit would be. I've measured that I have a scale. And so I can usually gauge how much it's going to weigh, how many ounces it's going to weigh. Um, it's anywhere between like two and five ounces for whatever stickers that people would end up buying. Usually it's between three and four. That's very common. And so if the order seems like it has a ton of sheets and I just want to be sure that it's going to get to them without any issues, I'll say it's five. Um, if it's a really small order, there's maybe like two sheets, then I'd put like three just to be safe. But I don't go based off of exact measurements and that might not be the way that you're supposed to do it, but I haven't had any issues with it since I've been doing this and it's been about six months now. So that's kind of the way that I do it. Again, I did play around with it before I started my shop. I weighed a bunch of different stacks of paper to get an idea of how much every um, order would weigh. And I've kind of gotten used to what it would be depending on what I am shipping out. And so I can just kind of guesstimate a little bit. So this needs some paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but I just wanted to pop on really quick and just let you guys know that. I have not had any issues with it, so it's working pretty well for me. Um, but I do recommend if you're starting an Etsy shop or if you do have an Etsy shop, I would definitely like play around with a scale and kind of see if things vary quite a bit. For me, it's just, you know, sticker sheets. So uh, one sticker sheet is not going to weigh that much. And so it's an easy kind of gauge. But if you're shipping bigger things or if you have larger orders then that's something that you would also want to consider so just wanted to answer that question while i was filming this video so it never fails as soon as i did all of this i got another order and i'm sure more order, more orders will come in um, as i'm packing orders but i always just kind of i try and pack orders every two days of course with me going out of town it'll be um, a little bit more of a delay but i try and do it every two days and I do it based off of whatever is open at the point that I can actually work on order. So sometimes that's morning, sometimes that's the night. And if something comes in right afterwards, that just gets handled with the next set of orders. So just figured I'd mention that to you guys. Um, I wanted to quickly just show you guys what I do when it comes to the packing slips because I feel like 
the fact that I do this and my whole process makes my process a little bit more streamlined and helps ensure, not always, but ensures that for the most part, my orders are going out accurately. So I'm the only person that packs orders. No one else has ever packed orders and it's because I have a whole process. I know where things are. Um, I do get help a lot with cutting sometimes, but in terms of packing orders, I'm the only one that does it. So the first step that I always take is I would staple any sheets that have multiple sheets. This is just a single sheet and you can kind of tell that because you can see the order total at the bottom. Um, then I go through and see if I have any multiple quantities. And when I do, I'll just go ahead and circle if it's anything more than one. So it looks like we just have one um, that has two here. And then I'll go through the items here. <laughs> Sorry, that was Jason who texted me. Then I'll go here and just mark anything that might be eight and a half by 11 or anything that's a little goofy that I want to pay attention to. Recently, I have been marking fixed and variable budget just because that is something that's different and it's very easy to accidentally pull the regular budget page. But that is pretty much it. So I, again, staple the pages just so that it's easier to kind of flip through. I mark multiple quantities, and then if I have eight and a half by 11, I'll underline those. If I have anything goofy like fixed and variable or scripts or like anything with special colors or anything like that, I also mark those just so as I'm packing orders, I don't have to worry about missing something. When I am packing orders, and I'll show you guys that in a second, I will go ahead and pull everything. Um, I'll pull everything and then what I do is I mark each item off as I, um, as I kind of sort through it and just organize them so that they kind of look cute and then I'll count them. So I'll show you guys that in a second but I'm going to go ahead and mark all of these up. I need to get my um, packing, I need to get my mailers ready and then I'll show you guys an example of how I go about getting stuff um I'll oh my goodness I don't know why I'm telling you pregnancy brain is seriously real I will show you guys how I pack orders so I'll be back in one second and then bring you guys along with me for the rest of the day. Because um, I don't want to focus too much on, on Etsy because although Etsy is a big part of my day, usually um, I don't want this video to be entirely all about Etsy. So anyway, I have everything pulled um, and this is normally the way that it would look. I would have the mailer, the um, little baggie there, and then everything just on top. So I'll go ahead and take a pen and um, I'll flip through. So I grabbed the October Thin Washi, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that off. I also have the transaction log here, so I'll mark that off. Um, I have the weekly check-in here, got that. Oops, and sometimes I do that, but I got the weekly check-in. I do have the fixed and variable budget. I have two of the washi strips. And then I have the sinking fund page. So I'll just go ahead and mark those all off. And then the next thing that I will do, and I'll have to set you guys down for this. So bear with me for one second. I wanna just kind of show you guys how I do this though. Um, so I will go ahead and kind of organize these a little bit. So I always put like it from biggest to smallest. And I've done this so many times that I honestly know what what is bigger and smaller so i'll get them so that they kind of look cute um and they're all again biggest from small to smallest and the smallest is in the front and then i'll count them so i'll just do one two three four 
five, six, seven, and that matches how many items that it says that we, this order was. So that is kind of my double, triple check that everything looks good. So I'll go ahead and put these in the bag um, first, and then I will go ahead and let me move these out of the way so I don't show any confidential information. I'll, obviously normally I wouldn't have these sticky notes on, but I'll fold the packing slip, put that right in the back like that fold this over so that those stickers are nice and protected. And even if this mailer gets wet, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, and that's pretty much it for this order. So that's kind of like my double check. Um, and then of course I have my little thank you sticker there. So that's kind of my double triple check just to make sure that everything looks okay and that um, what you're ordering is what you're getting. Again, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I definitely do make mistakes here and there. Um, but those, those double checks and triple checks definitely help um, me prevent a lot of mistakes. So anyway, that's kind of the way that I package them. I know a lot of people wanted to see that process. Um, so I'm going to go ahead right now and finish the rest of the other orders. Um, Jason and Macy actually texted me they're on their way home. So I don't know if I'll get through all of these, but I have lots and lots of stuff to do today. So I'm going to try and get these done um, as soon as I possibly can go to the post office and then get on to some of the other things that need to get done today. Okay guys, so I just got done with orders. I have them here in my Go Wild bag. Um, it didn't take that long to get through them. Um, right now it is 10.30, so an hour or so to pack them, which is not too bad. I do have some um, stuff printing right now for restocks that I really want to get um, everything restocked. There's actually only one script sticker that's out of stock right now, so I want to do that. So that's going to be printing. Um, me, Jason, and Macy are going to go do something for a little bit, and then when I get back, I'll probably do the restocks. I will um, probably start cutting maybe, and also I have lots of stuff to do in terms of house stuff. So um, anyway, I will pop back in whenever I get a chance, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am officially done and restocking, and Macy's here. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's much later now. Um, we ended up taking Macy to Chick-fil-A for lunch, and then um, we let her play a little bit. When we were there, so it is like 3 o'clock now. She just went down for a nap, and we will be good. Um, I wanted to get restocks done today, and honestly, the only thing that's out of stock right now is paychecks 1 and 2. So I got a bunch of those um, cut and ready to go. My cutters are actually cutting right now, some new scripts, so I'll show you guys that in a second. But I want to just go ahead, count how many I have here, put them back in the shop, and then um, just keep going with the new scripts. I'll show those to you guys because by the time you guys watch this, I believe they will be up. But maybe these, this will be up before. So maybe it's a sneak peek. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Still trying to figure that out. But um, I just kind of like rough estimate how many restocks I want to put up. Um, for stuff like this, sometimes I get orders of like eight. Somebody will want eight of these and then other times people want one. So I just try and get them back in the shop and if I have to restock them in another couple days or in a week or whatever, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm not super concerned with having a large amount of stock of, of any one thing, but I just want to make sure that if you need something that there's at least a couple of. So I'm going to go ahead and add these to the shop and then I'll show you guys what I'm cutting now. These take forever. So um, I'm just going to kind of like do other stuff around my office while those are cutting and just come back whenever they need to be changed. So here's a little sample of what I'm working on. I do have um, like smaller income stickers. A lot of these scripts are going to be related to budgets. So I have a bunch of them going now, um, cutting, that's why it's so loud in here. But I'm gonna keep working on getting these cut so that hopefully these are up by like Sunday or so for you guys. But I know a lot of people have been asking for stuff um, similar to these, so I wanted to make sure that you guys had them up before the next big release. So I'm still cutting over there. 
but I'm going to take out the trash now because obviously it's well overdue. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the trash really quick. I have trash over here and then I have trash over here. So I'm going to try and combine them a little bit and then take them out. I do this like almost once a week, but um, if I have a lot, if I have a lot of boxes and stuff, this is all recycling. So um, if I have boxes or whatever else, that's kind of what you'll see there. I threw out some of my old mats, so you'll probably see that in there, but there's just a lot that needs to go out right now. All right, guys, so I am 100% exhausted. I have a bunch of new scripts that will be up sometime soon. I'm not sure if this video will go up or if the new releases go up first, um, but those will go up soon. And today has been mostly Etsy. Like I have been filming this video, obviously. Um, I got a different video up earlier. Um, I edited that, but besides that, like it's been pretty much Etsy and just family stuff and Macy's gonna wake up in probably another hour um, or less. And so I'm going to just end it here so that I can relax the rest of the day. I've been really into um, Beauty and the Beast on Netflix, it's a show. It's kind of like a crime solving show type of thing and I've been really into it. So I'm probably gonna watch that for a little bit before she gets up. But anyway, not exactly the video that I thought it was going to be, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed seeing all of the process and all of that. If you guys have any Etsy related videos that you guys want to see, um, like specifically anything related to like my techniques or um, anything like that, let me know and I can work on that. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.